Ilang araw nang lumipas pero ang mga bakuna hindi pa rin dumarating sa Pilipinas. Paliwanag ng pamahalaan, kailangan daw ng batas para rito. Paglilinaw naman ng mga vaccine manufacturer standard indemnification agreement ang kailangan nila o kasunduan na hindi sila maaaring managot sakaling magkaroon ng mga side effects ang mga bakuna. Here's Richard Haydarian. From Asia to Middle East, North America and Europe, Maraming bansa ay on a glide path to achieving a semblance of herd immunity within a year or so. In fact, some countries have already given COVID-19 vaccine to up to half of their population so far. Patapos ng February, pero kamusta naman ang performance ng Duterte administration when it comes to vaccine rollout? So far, zero. Zero out of 1.7 million health workers or frontliners in the Philippines have received the COVID-19 vaccine. As is a report ng The Economist Intelligence Unit based in the United Kingdom, hindi lang kulera ng Pilipinas pagdating sa Asian countries. In fact, the Philippines is also a global laggard. In fact, it may take up until 2023 before the Philippines move towards a semblance of herd immunity. Even worse, the Philippines has inoculated zero frontliners so far. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said on February 7 that the first vaccinations especially for the frontliners, would take place on February 15. And yet here we are a week later and no vaccines yet. As of vaccines are in the Philippines, former General and current Secretary Carlito Galvez, vaccines arrival would be pushed back further due to the absence of an indemnification law in the country. There are currently bills in the Congress seeking an indemnity fund for the Filipinos who may experience adverse effects from the vaccine. Sa ilalim ng indemnification program, governments will agree that the COVAX Global Facility along with the pharmaceutical companies will not be held liable for any untoward events. Meanwhile, others have also raised concerns over the vaccine scare created by the Duterte administration over the past few years and how that could complicate the vaccination rollout in the country. In particular, the vaccine paranoia advocated by Public Attorney's Office Chief Persida Acosta in the past years over the Dengvaxia vaccine. Now, this could scare some people or prevent the country from effectively rolling out the vaccines and achieving an element of herd immunity. So there we are, mohang kulelat na naman ang Pilipinas, a global laggard, not only in terms of management of the COVID-19 crisis, but also the rollout of the vaccines, which should be essential to economic recovery and protection of the health, public health of the Filipino people. Nonetheless, let's hope for the best. Sanan man, makabawi ang Duterte administration and in the coming months we'll have more and more vaccines coming in and hopefully the Filipino people will have access to affordable and safe vaccines para naman makaroon tayo ng economic recovery and makaroon tayo ng herd immunity as soon as possible. Ako po si Richard Haydarian. Stand with us. Stand for truth.